Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. I'm standing outside another completed fix and flip property. I'm um, just finished up this one this week. Just got cleaned, so we're gonna walk through it. Um, bought this for 120,000 from my direct marketing campaign. Put about $20,000 of work into it, and we'll be listing it. Haven't decided for sure yet, but for at least 180, maybe a little more, we'll see. But of course, check out investformore.com for my podcast, um, lots of real estate investing articles, and I have, what was it, five paperback books published now on flipping, rentals, negotiating, being an agent, all of that. So this house, we have the before video um, up on my YouTube page. I'll add a link to that in the description. If you're watching on Facebook, we'll have a link to it as well. Um, was a college rental. Had carpet in here before. We came in, repainted, put in this flooring, which is a uh, laminate from Home Depot. Actually already had new windows, so that was super nice. Um, didn't have to do a whole lot in here, which is fantastic. Kind of show you in here, we did put carpet in the bedrooms. Said those windows were already here, but we painted everything, put in new light fixtures. Put in some new doors. A two bedroom, one bath. And um, it is really hard. I'm in Greeley, Colorado. Everyone always asks me where I'm at. So if you ask me on this video, it means you weren't paying attention. But <laughs> the cheapest houses here um, that are nice like this are all over 200,000. So if we price it below 200, it should sell fast. Should have no problem. The bathroom, new toilet, new sink. Redid the tile on the bathtub. Well, that's all new. We redid the kitchen as well. I kind of didn't want to do the kitchen, but Nikki, my project manager, convinced me it's a tiny kitchen, so it wouldn't cost that much to do it. This amount of cabinets from Home Depot, the materials, probably $1,500. Um, the counter, a couple hundred dollars. Um, the appliances all together, probably $900 for all of that. Very affordable. Here's, we added those two kind of pantries in the dining room so that there's more cabinet space because it is such a small kitchen. And the fridge would go right there. And then it's kind of set up for a stackable washer and dryer right there. But yeah, this is a kind of set up for a college rental in that area or for someone who wants to um, occupy the house as well. The yard, as you can see, we don't do a whole lot with the yards. And honestly, that's because we don't have to. We did put a sprinkler system in the front here and we seeded it. But, um, I mean, if you want to put a sprinkler system in this entire yard, sod it, you're probably spending, you know, six to $8,000 to do that. And it's not gonna make that big of a difference in price if we don't do it. People will still buy the properties. They can kind of think of, hey, the yard is something I can do myself. Um, and it's not that big of a deterrent to have a yard that's not completely done. So yeah, it doesn't look as pretty as it could, but just money wise, you know, you've gotta be really careful when you're flipping houses that you're not spending more than what makes sense. And it's really easy to go over budget, really easy to spend a ton of money and then not make any money, which is definitely not the goal of this business. All right, house does have a one car garage, so we still got a little bit of siding that needs picked up. We did paint the outside of the house as well and had to replace some of the siding. Um, not all of it, just part of it. That's the garage. And that's the property. So this one was quick. Um, really nice when they're easy remodels like this. We actually had two of my um, full-time employees work on this one. We did not hire out a contractor. I have uh, three now full-time people working for me, kind of handyman types, who we can keep busy on our projects. Saves me a ton of money, a lot of headaches, because we know what they're doing the whole time. They're always working on my stuff. And um, bought this through direct marketing, which was, you know, mailings we sent out 
to uh, motivated sellers. Got a call on this from someone who had bought it for his daughter a few years ago, and he paid like 80 grand for it, maybe it's less than that. Sold it to me for 120, so he did very well. He was happy to get rid of it. Didn't want to list it for sale because he didn't want to fix it up. So it worked out great for all of us. All right, so that's the property. Thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment below. You can also email me, mark at investformore.com. If you have questions about anything, um, my direct marketing campaign, any of that. All right, hope you have a great day.